I thought I'd just quickly go over some uh, little techniques to help uh, save some views and and other bits and bobs in, in Rhino to help you get going. So one of them is, is about setting some views. So if you want to come in and save some views, we can do that in a couple of ways. Um, one would be to come up to uh, set view and then to make sure you can sort of save those views you can click on um, the little camera up here and then or down in the panels view depending on how you've got your setup and then there's a plus button here so I can click on that plus button if I want and I can go so maybe that's I'll just call this uh, per one uh, something like that uh, you can also control that a little bit as well so there's some camera settings and target settings so what is a good idea is to set the Z height the height of how you're looking at it at the height of a person which is around 1700 millimeters give or take and so you can see that gives a different effect and if, if we set the target to something similar we're, we've now got that view um, set at those um, that height so it's imagine if we're sort of walking into that uh, space um, we can also change the length of the camera so if we make that wider so by making it a narrower so if we make that 25 um, you can see it fits more into the view and if we zoom in, so if we made that 100, it would get in closer. So, so 50 is, is all right, um, sort of general sort of view site. Some of you may want to sort of go to 25, 24, um, especially when you're inside of you, inside your space. So let's come in. So if we come in here. We set that height again to 1700. So now we're inside that space and it has quite a different feeling. And we can sort of maybe move around a little bit depending on where we're at. I'm going to change this view um, as well. So um, I'm going to set this to, well, it is rendered. Uh, I'm going to set the time of day. So I can set the sun, so I can turn that on. Um, and that should come up for what's going on. So rendered. And then if we adjust the time of day. So you can see there it's updating across uh, the space. So we might want to adjust it accordingly depending on how we've designed it. Um, and then I can click back onto the camera and then I can save save that. So I can say per to apply. Um, and then we might oh, if we just zoom into here and maybe it's looking up uh, at the sky. Maybe we change the time of day as well. We can move around the view as well and check, maybe create one exiting. So it can be a little bit fiddly. Um, and maybe the exit is quite a simple one. Again, it's a good idea just to check the height. So 1700. Um, and we might change the time of day. Big shadow. Hmm. I don't know what I'm So 
So we can just move around and adjust the image until we get it in a way that works for us. Let's also put that height back up. Um, and then if we go back to camera we can save that one as well. And then so maybe at three. And if we now shift to layouts, let's if we copy that. Change this. Uh, we need to unlock that one. And come back to here. So that automatically puts that view into that viewport. So then we can lock it again. Come back in here. Let's oh, come back. They're a bit smaller. Same with this one. I'd spend a bit more time and make those all align. Um, well, come back. Um, to there. Set that to two. So you get a bit of an idea of what's what's happening now with those those views. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an insight into um, how to save some views and then put them into your layout. I would just quickly because we've got these elements in here, which I was using previously, I would just come in and delete those. Hopefully that helps.